In example two, I want you to find the area of circle E. Here you're given the radius is 40 degree, or not the radius, the angle here is 40 degrees and this sector area is 35 meters squared. Again, try this on your own first and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. Okay, so I have a 40 to 360 ratio, which is my sector area to my entire area of the circle. Cross multiply, I get 40 times the area of the circle equals 360 times 35, which is 12600. Zero, zero. The area of the circle then is 12600 zero, zero, divided by 40, which is 315 meters squared. And that's it. How about this example? So, not quite looking at sector area here, but this is still an interesting example to try. I want you to find the area of the shaded region. So only the shaded area that you see here, not the wide area. This 20 is the length of the side of this figure. Try this on your own first, really think about it. And then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. All right, since these are all circles, that means that the circumference or I'm sorry, the radius is the same all the way around, which means we actually have a square here, so this is a 20 by 20. The area of the square is 20 times 20, which is 400 inches squared. And we're going to take that and set it aside. If this entire length is 20, it means that the diameter of each of these is 10, and so the radius is 5. The area of one circle is going to be pi r squared, which is pi times 5 squared. We take 25 times pi, and we get about 78.53, actually we'll round this to 54 inches squared. Lastly, the area of our shaded region is going to be the area of the entire square minus four of the areas of these circles. So we get 400 minus four times 78.54. We get 400 minus, let's see, 314.159. Which gives me approximately an area of 85.841 inches squared. That's my shaded region. It's an important idea to realize that to find these odd areas, what we want to do is actually find the total area and subtract out these. So we always want to work with the areas that are easier to find. And it's a lot easier to find an area of a square in a circle than to try to find the weird middle area here.